My club is in a lot of trouble, you guys. Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a first sniff session of the new Bring Back My Bars for June 2023. Now, if you're newer to Sensi or newer to my channel, hello and welcome. I am Drew. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. And something that I love about Sensi is twice a year, consultants, customers, anybody who has access to a computer can vote back for either the top 20 or 25, depending on what sense he's feeling this time, 20, of retired fragrances that we'd love to see come back. And the top 20 are voted, poured, and released to the world to purchase, but for one month only. A consultant perk is I'm able to order a kit of all 20 of them a little bit early so I can sniff them and share them with you guys so you can see my opinion, other consultants' opinions, whether or not you want to add them to your club or not. And if you're like, what's a Scentsy club? Well, I think Bring Back My Bar Months are easily the best for Bring Back My Bar or for Scentsy Club. If you love this scent, Plum and White Woods, you've never had it, it's your favorite, you smelled it, you love it. Anything like that, and you're like, well, I have to buy 500 of these because it's only available for one month. No. Add it to your Scentsy Club, and Scentsy will always make this bar just for you. Even if you're the only person in the world, which will probably never happen, who has this in your club, Scentsy will make it for you. And it's a subscription service, and you can choose one month, bi-monthly, or quarterly that they will put this in your club and Scentsy will always make it for you. How many times have you gone to a store, especially that Bath & Body Works store, and you're like, oh, I'm looking for so-and-so. Oh, we don't have it. Or maybe it's your favorite seasonal fragrance. I love Melting Pumpkin all year. I don't, but say you do, and you're like, I can't get pumpkin at all throughout the year except in the fall. If you add the pumpkin bars to your Scentsy Club, even if Scentsy is not making them, they're nowhere on the catalog, on the website, it's in your club. If you choose every other month, guess what? Every other month, those pumpkin bars are coming to you, unless you take them out of your club. If you take them out, you cannot put them back, but you can skip a shipment. It's only one shipment you can skip within a calendar year or within a 12-month year, not a calendar year. So if I skip in November, I won't be able to skip until the following November. So just putting that out there. It is nice to budget, though. So like, for example, my quarterly club, it comes four times a year. I skip one of those just because it's a lot of wax and my club is pretty huge. But I'm able to do that with no penalties. Now, if I wanted to skip again... All those bars in my club, I would lose. And there's some bars in there that are locked into my Sensi Club that I do not want to lose. And when I looked at this top 20 that we got chosen, there's a few, I can already see five, that are automatically, no hands, no, hands down, going in my club. Because I lost them because I got super overwhelmed, accidentally canceled my club, and ugh, it was just such a tragedy. So I'm so happy to lock them back into my Sensei Club. But before we get into that video, I do want to just talk about one scent really quick, which is the June scent of the month. June is going to be a very exciting time in Sensi land. We are launching a warmer of the month. Now, I did not opt to get this warmer early because another consultant perk is we can order the scent and warmer of the month kit a little early. So we get some bars, some warmer, uh, a warmer if we want, brochures, scented stickers, and if you are on my customer list, you will be getting this as well as a little sample in the mail on its way to you. Probably when this video is up, you already have it or it is in transit to you. So that way you can sniff them a little early as well, which is super exciting if you're one of my customers. But anyway, I did not opt for the warmer this month. It's just not my day core style, but it is a beautiful warmer called On the Seashore. But the scent, you guys, I have been obsessed with fruity, fresh scents. Not like fruity, tropical scents, but like a light fruit, fresh, sea salty, ocean vibe fragrance. And this scent, Pacific Mist, launching June 1st, is that. It is so good. You immediately, 
get salty sea air, and the notes on this read, misty ocean air wafts through coastal sea salt and driftwood with a buoyant touch of tropical nectar. It is a beautiful fragrance. And I saw a couple consultants already talk about this, and I can see that there's a little bit of a comparison to, like, Vanilla Waves. It's like a salty, sweet, that, like, sea salty vibe. So if you did not like Vanilla Waves, I don't know if you'll like this. I love this, and I actually have some Vanilla Waves coming today in my flash sale haul. So I'm super excited for that. But, oh, this is so yummy. Oh, this is delish. I love, if you love fresh, aquatic, sea salty fragrances, definitely check out Pacific Mist launching on my website or your consultant's website also on June 1st. All right, my paper fell, but I have all 20 fragrances with their descriptions here. So let's get into it. I'm just going to go alphabetically and I will let you know, is it going in my club or am I gonna pick up some extras? What's the deal? What am I gonna do? So the first one we have is Beach. Now I don't wanna start this off on a negative note, but I do not care for beach. It is papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. And I've seen some other people say this as well. It's just a funky scent. And I'm not a huge coconut lover. And I think you get a lot of coconut. And the papaya honeydew combo is just strange. It's just an odd, sweet, like, dare I say dirty fragrance. It is not a scent for me. I will melt it like in my bathroom just to use the bar up, but it is not one that I will add to my club or purchase more of. Beach is just not for me. Next, we have Cashmere Pear. Now this, I do remember coming back in to bring back my bar when I was at my old studio apartment and I could not get scents to throw at all in that place. So I'm very excited to try it here in this space because I get great performance from my Scentsy in this house. Slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger, a blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. And this is a beautiful bar. You definitely get this red ginger, this like spiced ginger note with a warm vanilla amber. And it's so interesting because you get this like spiced ginger, warm vanilla, and a hint of that fruity pear. It is beautiful. It is complex. Totally a bedroom scent for me. I totally could see just wanting to crawl into bed, put a beautiful, calm movie on, and melt myself some cashmere pear. So I'm going to melt this. I'm going to see what it's like. I don't think it's club worthy, but I might pick up a couple bars. Next we have, this is so interesting to me because I do not care for cherry fragrances at all, but cherry vanilla, and I've seen this not get a lot of love here on YouTube, a delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. I love this bar. I'm not into cherry, but Sensi's cherry is really good. And I remember when this came back a few years ago to bring back my bar, it was cherry vanilla and cherry limeade. I wanted them both, added them to my club, got overwhelmed, and now I don't have it in my club, but this is going back to my club. I really, really like this. It is a candied cherry, Almost like if you have like a can a cherry jam, like a very bright, fresh cherry, like a cherry that would be in a thumbprint cookie, and then a really awesome, smooth sweetness from the white chocolate. I love this scent. I adore this scent. And as a non-cherry lover, I'm shocked that I do really enjoy this as much as I do. So cherry vanilla going in the club. This is also going in my club. Churro, churro. Now, churro, churro, I feel like gets the same wrap across the board. It's a great scent, but it is very light. Now, I have not tried this in my new space, so I'm excited to have a bar of this. It is going in my club. 
Baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures the heavenly churro charm. I love this scent. It is a true cinnamon sugar pastry. It smells just like a churro. And if you think like elephant ear, churro, funnel cake, all of those cinnamon sugar pastries but a churro is very light. Like when you bite into it, it's crisp on the outside, but really light and fluffy on the inside. Sprinkle with that cinnamon sugar. It is beautiful. And I typically melt bakery scents in my like kitchen or dining room, sometimes living room, just depending. But I feel like because it is lighter and I do know that, I'm gonna try it in my bedroom here first, see how it performs, and then determine if I wanna put it in an open space. I am gonna order some more bars and I am going to add this to my club. I love churro churro. It is fabulous. Next is a licensed bar, and this is actually the first time that Sensi has ever allowed us to vote for licensed bars to come back. Only one made the cut, and that is Disney Love and Kisses Mini. Now this is the original mini fragrance whenever Sensi first launched licensed Mickey and Minnie bars. I don't honestly remember this one. The sweetest girl is the one you never forget. And this fragrance bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot, and creamy vanilla captures her everlasting charm. This is pretty. I just finished warming apricot vanilla in my bedroom. It went like two days and it was gone, but it was beautiful. So I'm definitely picking that apricot and vanilla like right up. And that's what this smells like. If you love apricot vanilla from Scentsy, which is also an original, I'm really tempted to add that to my club. That's like that, toned down a little bit, and then add in some fresh berries. It's pretty. I just feel like the license bars are not, for me, a lot of them. I don't think I'll add this to my club. I'll melt this, I'll enjoy it, but it's not one that I would like run out to rebuy. Next, we have Fuzzy Blanket. Now, Fuzzy Blanket, is this gonna focus? There we go, Fuzzy Blanket. Snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. I do remember this one very vividly, and it's beautiful. We had this like sleep collection, and this reminds me of one of those bars. If you love jammy time, if you love fluffy fleece, I think you'll really enjoy this. It is that soft, baby, clothing softener fragrance. I really like this. If I had to pick between, though, this or Fluffy Fleece, I like Fluffy Fleece a little better. A little better. A little more. This is pretty, though. I don't know if I'll add it to my club. I'll see how it performs in my bedroom. I might have, like, a Battle of the Bars week. Do jammy time a couple nights, then this a couple nights, then Fluffy Fleece a couple nights, and figure which one I like more, but this is a very soft, like baby's clothing softener fragrance. I might add a couple more bars and just like have some on stock. I don't know if I'll add it to my club. Next, we have Ghostly Greeting. Spooky black plum, spiced berry, and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you in. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this was the scent of the month when we had that like mummy head with the mini money mummy head warmer I actually still have those it was definitely not my favorite warmer it's just kind of odd i like a lot of the other halloween scent oh, warmers better but this scent gets a lot of bad rap i like it now the thing is it is not at all the temperature or the vibe outside for this scent so it kind of smells, smells a little odd sniffing a scent like this in the weather that it is now but it's really pretty. It is a very dark, rich plum fragrance with a little bit of that like alcoholic bourbon and berry. I really like this. I've had it before. This I believe too was when they were doing bricks included in the scent of the month kit. So I had a lot of this. So it was a little overwhelming, but I haven't smelled this in a long time. And I actually really enjoy it. Will it go in my club? I'm not sure, but I'm excited to melt another bar and see what I think. This, absolutely, two bars in my, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this as a quarterly club. I wanna have this bar 
all the time. And that is Happy Birthday. Now, I think that this label changed. I don't remember it having all these balloons on it like it did. It looks a little bit updated and fresh. I could be wrong. But this was one of the scents in my Scentsy Club that I lost. And I have no more bars of it. So I'm so excited to have a fresh bar. And knowing that in a few days probably a day from when you see this, June 1st, this is going in my club. And I'm also just straight off the bat ordering a six pack. So I have some because how perfect to get happy birthday with a mini warmer, or if it's a really good friend, a full size warmer. And instead of like a card that they're just gonna read and throw in the garbage, they can have this, see happy birthday, and they can use this. I love that idea. And especially, I mean, there's some cards at the Hallmark store that are like five or six dollars. I would much rather give someone a bar that they can get hours and hours and hours of enjoyment out of than a card. You can even write something really cute on it. I love it. I think this would be a great addition to the catalog. I wish Sensi would add this to a catalog. I'm not sure why. It comes back all the time. It is a candy delicious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. It is beautiful. It is just like a birthday cake. I love, love, love this scent. We'll always love it. It just smells like funfetti cake. And it's strong. It performs well. It performs for days and days. Always enjoy. Always a classic. Two bars of this are going in my club. And I'm going to pick up a six pack. Now, there are three scents that I was so excited to smell from this Bring Back My Bar. And this one is Harbor's Edge. I do not believe I've ever tried Harbor's Edge. But the notes, the reviews, everything sounds like it's a scent that I would just adore. And this is beach grass, flowering raspberry, and northern oak fern. Sway in crashing waves, churning a surge of salty musk. This is so pretty. I was very nervous. Because I've had some beach grass fragrances, candles that I just don't like. But this is so good. You get like this woody oak with a freshness. Oh man, is this pretty. Ooh, I love. I think this one's going to go in my club too. This is so pretty. If you like fruity, fresh, woodsy fragrances, Harbor's Edge. I'm going to add a few to, I'm going to add a few to an order and it's going in my club. Two. Hemingway. Now, Hemingway, I thought it remembered, but then I was like, do I remember this? I wasn't sure, so I was excited to smell it again. Rich, ripe apples and warm, woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. And immediately from watching videos, I'm like, this is going to be perfect for my bedroom for the fall. Oh, yes. This, as I drop the bar. This this is OG Scentsy. Now that I smell this, I definitely remember it. This is an apple... Mmm. I was going to say apple cinnamon, but it is definitely apple sandalwood spice. It is so pretty. If you love masculine fragrances, but you want a fall masculine, Hemingway is beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is going in my club. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is going in my club. And I'm going to buy a six-pack just so I can tuck them away for fall. Like, absolutely. Getting a six-pack, going away. So in, like, September, October, this is going through my house. Oh, guys. Listen. This bring back my bar. I know there was a lot of repeat fragrances. But, honestly, I'm not... A, I'm fine with it. Because there's some that I miss tremendously and some that I totally forgot about like Hemingway so really excited now this one absolutely going in my club my wish if you've been around for a while I love fig I love fig fragrances Scentsy doesn't have a lot of fig I know they have like midnight fig which I'd love to see come back I don't remember smelling that my wish a confection of earthy fig sweet violet and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more this is so good. This is so good. I love this. If you like fig fragrances, 
Fig is sweet without being sugary or cloyingly sweet. It just naturally smells sweet. Oh, it's so pretty. It's sweet. The violet is in there that adds just a light hint of floral with this gooey, bouncy, sweet marshmallow. This is a fun fragrance for the living room. This is a great comforting scent for the bedroom. Oh, I love my wish. And I love the color. It's so fun. Definitely, definitely going in my club. Now, this is another one that I was very excited to sniff. I don't remember it. Painted Leaves. It's going to be 90 some degrees this week. And I want fall. And this makes me remember why I want fall. Wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. This is so pretty. Exactly what Elizabeth from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents says, but I think she hit the nail on the head. It's like Bath and Body Works sweater weather without that sweet note in it. This is a very herbal, fresh, like you're crunching through leaves. I know it doesn't say it on there, but it says Golden Woods. So I'm just going to assume it's part of Golden Woods. It smells like, like eucalyptus or like really fresh, like mint, but not like spearmint or peppermint. So maybe more like a eucalyptus. It is so pretty. Oh, this is, this is going to be strong. And the thing is like, I'm such a seasonal melter and this I definitely want to hang on to for the fall. I want to see how it throws, though. It's so hard, like, during this time when it's a scent like this. I think I'm just going to add it to my club. That way I have some bars. If I end up not liking it, I can take it out. If not, I have some extra bars to hang on to that I'll figure out what to do with. But that's going to go in my club because I really like it. And I don't really feel like mel melting it right now. It's just not the season for it. I'm, like, losing it. Plum and White Woods. Sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through vanilla orchid. This is very perfumey. The vanilla orchid makes this very perfumey. I know I've smelled this before. Huh. I don't love this. This reminds me of like a Victoria's Secret body spray. It's pleasant. It's fine, but it's not one that I'm, like, craving and would want to want to add more of. This is one that I'll probably melt, see what I think. If I enjoy it, I enjoy it. If I don't, I don't. But it's, like, it's like a floral, fresh, like, body spray. Yeah. It's not one that I would, like, write home about. So that is Plum and White Woods. Next is Rustic Lodge. How fun. I love the plaid. I love the green. Warm fragrance of cedar, oak, and musk with traces of wood smoke and fallen leaves. Oh. Now see, this is playing tricks on me. Because this is very, very woodsy, very green, very fresh with being like a warm fresh. My cats are going crazy. However, it's just so not the season for it. So it's like throwing me off. But I'm already imagining as I look in the list, Hemingway in my bedroom, Rustic Lodge in my open space, and Painted Leaves in like the kitchen, or a cube and a cube of these mixed together in the space, and then Hemingway. Like... One cube to one cube and all the warmers and doing this combo. I feel like that would be great. And plus, do these colors not look great? Yes. I don't know. It's just how I'm feeling. So I think I might have to just like order a six pack and do two, two, and two and melt those together. Because Hemingway Painted Leaves and Rustic Lodge sound like a beautiful combination. It's a lot going on, but I think it works. So... We will see. And Elizabeth from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, if you're watching, I know melting three cubes is a lot, but I think a cube of Hemingway, a cube of Painted Leaves, and a cube of Rustic Lodge together would be a powerhouse, but I really think it would work because you get that warm apple spice, 
the earthy outdoorsiness of the rustic lodge and that freshness of the painted leaves all mingling together, I think it would be beautiful and tell a great story. Anyway, next, Southern Sweet Tea. Now, when I saw this, I was like, no, I'm not going to like it. I don't like iced tea scents. A lot of companies have made iced tea scents. I don't care for them. But when I read the description, I'm like, that's not what I thought. A splash of heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea. So white tea is a lot like more bright than like a black tea, which I uh, assumed from Southern tea. And peach and orange juice? This is good. I don't get much orange juice. It does smell like a peach tea. But the peach tea is sort of like a very light essence of a peach tea. It's not super strong. This is one I could take or leave. Like Plum and White Woods. Like I'll melt it, I'll enjoy it, but it's not one that I would add to my club and probably not pick up any more of. It could change on warm, but that's just how I feel right now. Next, this is another one I feel like it should just go into the catalog because it's been back so, so, so many times, and that is Sweet Pea and Vanilla. And it says an ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. And yeah, this smells just like sweet pea from all the places, especially Bath and Body Works. And I don't love it. I just don't. It's, I wasn't born into that generation that like feels super nostalgic from this. I just recognize it as like a pink body care fragrance. And it is, it's hot pink. This is another one. I'll melt it, I'll enjoy it, but it's not one that I would like run out to add to my club or purchase more of. It's like a one and done for me. So sweet pea and vanilla, it's fine. Down to the final four, we have a vanilla suede. Classic vanilla and rich amber with hints of sandalwood and spice, a subtly masculine fragrance. I love this. This is like a perfumey leather, but different than sheer leather. I will say out of those leather scents, when we used to have sheer leather, saddle up, and weathered leather in the catalog, saddle up was my favorite. But this is really nice. This does smell like suede, like a very creamy fabric that has like the essences of a men's cologne on it. This will be a really nice bedroom scent. Will I add it to my club? I'm not sure. This is one. This is the only one out of here I have got to melt in June because I feel like when I melt this, it comes alive. And I'll want to, that'll determine to add it to my club or not. Longevity and does it like come alive when you melt it? Because right now I enjoy it and I feel like I'll want to have this a lot, but I'm not sure. Vanilla Suede. She's a gambler. Watermelon Patch. I'm going to take a sip of water. Sweet Vine Ripened Watermelon. That's all it says. This is Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Whoa. This is strong. This is strong. And I feel like I want to melt this with like a lemon scent. Like a lemonade. Like a... Lemon sorbet, squeeze the day to like tone it down and make a better version of BBW's watermelon lemonade. I just don't care for that scent. Yeah, this is like a Jolly Rancher watermelon. Not much to say. It's bright. Um, I might pick up a few bars to have this as like a let me melt this in a um in the summer with lemon, but it's not one that I would like add to my club or anything. Next is White Sands. Night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze. This is pretty. I've had this before. It is, it's like a, a light white floral coconut. It's not one I would run out of my way to buy. But it's pleasant. I enjoy it. 
I'll melt it. This this seems like a bedroom or bathroom scent. I probably will melt this in my bathroom. But it's pleasant. It's enjoyable. It's like one of those candles you pick up at the grocery store. Or not the grocery store. Just like the store. And you're like, yeah, that's, that's good. That's fine. But it's not like knock me out of the park or anything. So that is White Sands. Next and last is White Out. Thank you for sticking with me. Exhilarating blast of cool peppermint and sweet golden apple blanketed over frosty winter pine. Now, peppermint is a scent I want to love, but I just feel like I can't find one that I love. That's very different. Oh, okay. So I definitely noticed peppermint. But it's like not peppermint gum. I don't get any pine. Definitely like an like an apple, like it says. Wow, is this good? Wow, is that good? Guys, I have to like rest for a second. I'm shocked. Because I don't love peppermint. Like peppermint rush from last time. So strong. This is pleasant. This is a very calm smooth, creamy peppermint. And I like this. I like this a lot. Oh yeah, I, I would buy more of this. Would I add it to my club? I don't know. But I feel like this is a good bedroom scent on like a winter night where you just want to feel comforted and relaxing, but not like I'm a sick peppermint. Like I feel like like Just Breathe, well that's more like eucalyptus with peppermint, but um, I feel like I melt peppermint when I don't feel well just to like I don't know, clear the sinuses. But this is one that I would actually like melt for enjoyment. Oh, this is nice. I might pick up more of this. Yeah, I don't think I'll add it to my club because I don't need it all the time. But I would definitely pick up a couple more. So that was my video. That was my Bring Back My Bars for 2023. If I had to pick like a six pack, I would probably, hear me out, Cashmere Pear, Painted Leaves, Harbor's Edge, Southern Sweet Tea, and White Out, and Vanilla Suede. And the reason why, that is a six-pack I would order because those are ones that I liked. It was, they were good. I want to melt them and see how they perform to depend on club. Club, Cherry Vanilla, Churro Churro, Happy Birthday, Hemingway, My Wish, So that's five. So Cherry Vanilla, Churro Churro, Happy Birthday, My Wish, Hemingway. Did I say that already? Harbor's Edge, Cherry Vanilla, Churro Churro, Happy Birthday, Harbor's Edge, Hemingway, My Wish. Okay, so that's six. Painted Leaves, Rustic Lodge, Vanilla Suede, white out possibly our potentials so overall i'm very excited and impressed with this bring back my bar fragrances you love memories you cherish relive favorite moments from these classic scentsy bars the winning fragrances are back starting june 1st while supplies last super exciting Cannot wait to share these with you guys. Let me know what you're picking up for bring back my, bring back my bar for my scentsy club members which ones are going in your club. And if you don't have a Scentsy Club, now is the perfect time to get one. So that way you can find your favorite fragrances and figure out which ones you want to keep for yourself. I'll link my website down below. And on June 1st, when these launch and the scent of the month, Pacific Mist. Really nice. Ooh, my nose is overloaded right now, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next one. Love you, make it a better world, and be kind. Bye, guys.